Hey guys, welcome back to Container Crops, the Scaredy Cat Gardener. Oh my goodness, it is another amazing, beautiful day here in Zone 7B. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're going to be talking about six very simple but effective ways to keep pests out of your fall garden. Show off your fantasy reality, whoa. Okay, we are back and before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning to the channel, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Please take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Also, connect to me over on Facebook. My Facebook group is for you guys, not for me. I want to see what's growing on in your garden. Feel free to post your pics and videos too. My Facebook group is Container Crops, and you can always find me on IG at The Scaredy Cat Gardener. Okay, I think we are done with our yard work for today. Let's go ahead and find out about these six very, very simple but effective ways to keep pests out of our fall gardens. Now the six tips that I'm going to give you today apply no matter if you are growing in ground, growing in raised beds or containers like myself. These six simple but effective tips will help you keep pests out of your garden. Now, please remember there is absolutely nothing Nothing, okay? Nothing. <laughs> that is 100% foolproof. But if you take these steps, you're going to probably be way better off than if you don't. So what's the first one? Tilling the soil. Yes, tilling the soil. As you transform your garden from your spring and summer garden into your fall garden and you've pulled up plants that are, have died or have flowered and you've gotten the seeds or whatever, you're cleaning up your garden, till the soil, even in containers. And I'll be putting up a video showing you exactly how I clean up my garden heading into fall soon. But Take that little hand rake and scrub through there, dig deep down in there and turn the soil over. What you're doing then is you're upsetting the nest and the pest that may be in there. You're bringing them up to the surface because guess what? There's predators that are waiting on a meal. So those are the good bugs that we want to knock off the bad bugs. So, but you need to bring them up out of their resting place and into the surface of the soil. So make sure you till your soil. The next one is a cover for your plants. If you're growing in ground, these would be called a row cover. Now I've used covers in the past for my garden in containers and they're really just large bags that you put on them, but they're very light and airy. They let a certain amount of sunlight in but they also let your water in so you don't have to remove them unless you're actually harvesting or you need to take a dead branch off or something like that now I will leave a link in the description to the bags that I use and this is a picture of the bags that I use in my garden and keep in mind guys that these tips are not in any necessary order or anything and it is absolutely not all inclusive. There are many, many simple and effective ways to keep bugs out of your garden, but these are things that have worked for me in the past, so I'm sharing them with you. So moving on to number three. If you buy starts from a nursery, from Walmart, from your local hardware store, wherever. I know a lot of people buy fruit trees and things from these big box stores like Lowe's and Home Depot. Please, before you bring these trees and these starters and these plants home, inspect them. Nurseries and big box stores are 
please, they are not beyond having insects in their plants. So you may be bringing something into your garden, into your home that came from somewhere else, and then it will uh, continue from there. So inspect the foliage, inspect the plants, look at the soil, you know, move it around a little bit, see if anything's in there. And also, you know, fall approaches holiday season. You know, it starts off, uh, some people celebrate Halloween, some people celebrate Thanksgiving. It, it moves into the season where you might bring plants and things from outside into your home. We're making wreaths to go on our door from what might have been a living plant. And you need to inspect those wreaths. You need to inspect things like Christmas trees, although that goes into winter because you could be bringing something into your home or into your garden from outside. So make sure you take a really, really good look at the plants and the foliage when you're buying anything, starts anything from an outside source. Next on my list is either refreshing or adding mulch. Yes, it's going to help you keep down the weeds. It adds to your uh, soil moisture retention and it's a good place for predators to stay and we want the predators because the predators are the ones that eat the bad bugs so we don't mind if they hang around and it it gives them a good place to hang out um, personally I like shredded bark because it doesn't take out too much of the um, nitrogen and it decays uh, at a slower pace so I particularly like the shredded bark for my mulch on my containers. Okay, so although we add mulch to the top, we cover, there are some creature features <laughs> that want to come up through the bottom. You know, cutworms is a really good one that I have seen and that a lot of people see in the fall. They're coming up from the bottom. So although you've covered on top, you've mulched on top, you've got creature features coming from the bottom. And so one thing that you can do for things like cutworms and, and other uh, pests is to put toothpicks around the base of the stem of your plant. So if it's a stem coming up like this, you want to put a toothpick on this side, right up against it, right up against the stem gently in stick it into the soil just a regular wooden toothpick and another one on this side <clears throat> excuse me now if your plant has a maybe a wider base you might need to put four toothpicks on there but just one on each side and what that does is it keeps pests like cutworms from being able to get to the stem of your plant so grab you a box of toothpicks and have them on hand okay next is our actual yards, um, front, back, side, whatever. Sometimes as fall approaches and the temperatures become cooler and our grass is not growing at the rate of speed that it does typically in the spring and the summer, we kind of slack off. We don't maintain our yard as impeccable as we might during the spring and the summer. Also during the spring and the summer, we're coming out of winter, so we're excited and we want our green grass and we want it mowed and trimmed and mulched and everything like that. I want to say do not stop the upkeep of your yard or your garden. Even if you are not gardening this fall, you're not having a fall garden, you still want to maintain it because you don't want a haven for pest in the springtime either. And if you can keep a pest free yard, then your garden will be a little bit more secure. It's not saying you won't have any pest in your garden, but it sure can help if you maintain your overall yard as well as your garden. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it for today. I hope that these six simple and effective things to help keep pests out of your yard will help you. And please leave me some comments. If you have a tip or a trick that works well for keeping pests out of your garden that's simple and effective, please leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. We want everybody to know these tips and tricks so that we can all have a successful garden no matter where we live and what zone that we're in. Also, share the video out. Sharing is caring. <laughs> and I would really appreciate it. Tell everybody you know, family, friend, and foe, what 
Pam over at Container Crops is trying to do on a daily basis over here. I'm trying to give you guys tips and tricks that will work and last you forever. Okay, until next time, remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And I'll see you on the trail. Mm -hmm.